Your camera is the single most important piece of equipment you need to make your film. But what do you need next? Welcome to the Film Look. Rocket Stock's Lightly Pack Illuminate is a sure way to impress your viewers. Shot using digital cinema 4K cameras, it's an unbeatable way to lift your video to new cinematic heights. Link in the description. So you've just bought your first camera, but that's not the only piece of camera equipment you need to make your film. At the start, there's so many pieces of camera equipment to look at, it's a little bit overwhelming. So we've put a list together of the top 5 things you should buy after your camera. A 50mm lens is a good focal length to shoot at, and most 50mm lenses will allow you to stop down to 1.8, if not lower. This will allow you to achieve a shallow depth of field, which always looks good. Try not to shoot everything at 1.8 though, it can be difficult to keep your subject in focus, especially if they're moving. I'd rather see your subject in focus than a completely shallow background. And f2.8 and f4 still looks good when you're shooting at 50mm. It sounds daft seeing this, but get a tripod and get something that's going to last you a long time. I bought this tripod 5 years ago for about £150. When I had a little bit of spare money, I upgraded the tripod fluid head to something that could hold a little bit more weight, and then added a levelling base to make using the tripod easier. You can find tripods for around £30, but you need something with a little bit more weight and strength to it, even if you're just using a DSLR sized camera. Get a good pair of legs that's going to last you, and you can always upgrade the head in the future. A tripod will allow you to lock your camera down so you can think about the composition of your shots. You can add movement with pans and tilts, but if you want to add more dynamic movement, the next piece of a camera equipment you should buy is a slider. Sliders allow you to achieve shots like this. Slide from left to right, revealing your subject. Slide from left to right whilst panning, keeping your subject in the middle of the frame. You can push in and you can push out. We have a video all about camera sliders if you want to go and check it out. Video is nothing without sound, and your camera's onboard microphone just won't cut it. So get something like a Rode Video mic to start, and it'll definitely improve your audio. But to really improve your audio, get your mic off your camera and as close to your subject as possible. If you get a Rode Video mic, get a mic extension cable so you can still plug your mic into your camera. If you want to learn more about recording audio on your productions, check out our 8 part indie film sound guide series which you can find on our channel. You can pick up a 5-in-1 reflector for less than £20, depending on what size you want. We have a 110cm one and it's great to add a little bit more bounce light onto your subject with the white, silver or gold side. The black side creates a negative fill so the light won't bounce off it onto your subject. The middle section of the reflector will help diffuse your light. Yes, this is the sixth thing on the list but top six things to buy after your camera doesn't really sound as good. Your camera sensor needs light and at first you can just use daylight but then you can quickly move on to using household bulbs. We recommend not to buy cheap work lights as the colour isn't great and if you're planning on shooting videos for other people, they don't look very professional. You can get light fixtures like these that hold household bulbs. You can upgrade in the future by adding a can light attachment to help shape your light. Then you can get different types of bulbs. The edge slash backlight on me right now is that light. When you need more light, you can pick up a set of three 800 watt lights that are dimmable, have light stands and come with a bag for only £112. We've had these lights for about 3 years now and they work great. You can also start off with these £30.160 LEDs. The colour of them isn't great but they work really well as an edge light. There are lots of other things that you can buy to help shape and change the colour of your light, but just buy them when you can. This all might seem a lot, but you don't need to buy the model that we've suggested, and you definitely don't need to buy it brand new. Filmmakers are constantly upgrading their kit and selling on their old kit, which they've probably kept good care of. So see if you can buy second hand and it'll definitely save you a little bit of money. This is the basic kit that you need to shoot most things. So go out there, shoot things, tell stories until you feel you need more equipment to tell better stories. Just wanted to let you guys know that we make videos like this every Tuesday. So why not consider subscribing? Big thanks to the team at Rocketstock for sponsoring this video. They have a cool pack called Illuminate which has a load of wicked light leaks. If you want to use these great effects in your next video too, just head over to rocketstock.com or click the link in the description below. If you have any suggestions for the first pieces of camera equipment you should buy after your camera, let us know in the comments below because we've probably missed some. Thanks for watching the film look and remember, achieve it one shot at a time.